Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, bienvenue dans notre leçon du jour, leçon de grammaire. C'est une leçon de révision, on va réviser des quatre verbes, top important verbs in French. On va prendre le verbe être, avoir, aller, faire, you already know these verbs, you wanna take some examples for it. A little bit of explanation with the uh, how to conjugate them. Okay, so attention, s'il vous plaît. Le verbe être, we use it to identify who or what someone or something is. Always use an article before the noun except with proper nouns. Okay, when you're talking about when you're asking about things or persons, we use to. Uh, uh, it is used to use le verbe être and also with the proper nouns you don't use le verbe uh, être you don't use the, the, this article before uh, the noun you just say uh, tell uh, the noun you will see in the examples bonjour je m'appelle je m'appelle Arnaud bonjour je m'appelle Arnaud je suis français. Je suis français. Et toi, tu es français. Ok? Now, le verbe être suivi d'un adjectif. It's followed by an adjective. Just to mention uh, uh, the nationality. So, français here, it's an adjective, but it refers to the nationality. Et vous, vous euh, professeur Ali, et vous, professeur Ali, vous êtes espagnol. Êtes-vous espagnol? The usage of le verbe être ici, euh, le verbe être, c'est écrit avec le pronom vous. It's written with the pronoun vous. Ok, but the meaning is not plural. Vous êtes here, it doesn't mean a plural because you're talking to professeur Ali. You're talking to Uh, a person, but uh, 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 we have to show some him, uh, show him some respect. That's why we use le pronom vous. You will see in the next examples uh, that we have two forms of singular. If you want to say you in in uh, in French, it can be tu or vous, and also we use vous for the singular if we're talking about. Uh, 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 someone older than us or a person that we show him some uh, we have to show him some respect if you're talking to uh, or about a person he's not here, he's an absent person so you shouldn't or you don't uh, show him because you're not talking to him face to face you're uh, talking about Uh, an absent person, just say il. Il est, voici Mr. Julien, il est en vacances. Voici Mr. Julien, il est en vacances. Et vous, vous êtes en vacances, vous êtes en vacances. And you, are you in a vacation? The present tense of être. Ok, je suis... Tu es, vous êtes, il est, elle est. Nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont, elles sont. Je suis, as you know, it means I am. Tu es, you are, you're talking to someone. Vous êtes, you're talking to someone also, but here it's formal language. Uh, you're talking to Uh, an older one, you have to show him some respect. So, instead of saying tu, you said vous, because tu, you use it with the friends. And uh, someone uh, maybe is a friend of yours or younger than you. But vous êtes, use it with the family and with the teachers and the uh, unknown person for you. Il est and elle est. Il est. Elle est, he is, she is, 
also singular so these are singular forms and in the other hand nous sommes we are vous êtes ils sont elles sont they are they are they are boys and they are girls ok c'est le présent c'est la conjugaison du verbe être What's the difference between qui est-ce and qu'est-ce que c'est? Qui est-ce? We ask about persons, people. Qu'est-ce que c'est? We ask about uh, things. Okay? If you're asking about this famous person, you want to ask, you want to use the question qui est-ce? C'est, then tell the name. Qu'est-ce que c'est? C'est un for the singular masculine things and c'est une for the singular feminine things. Ok. Il est, il est, ils sont, elles sont. In French, we also use il est, il est, ils sont, elles sont to refer to someone or something previously mentioned. And instead of repeating the name or the noun in the second sentence, we replaced the noun by a pronoun. Okay? Exam. C'est mon frère Frédéric. Mon frère est Conta. Why do we have to replace or to repeat uh, the, uh, the noun here? C'est mon frère Frédéric. Mon frère Frédéric est Conta. Okay? Instead of repeating the noun, it's not important to repeat it again. That's why we, we replaced it by il est comptable. Il est comptable. Thierry Henry est footballeur. Thierry Henry est footballeur. Okay? In French, you don't write an article before a profession. Uh, after le verbe être, you don't say est, Thierry Henry est un footballeur. You don't use or put un here because the profession it's like something well known you don't have to write article with it okay so these uh, uh, notes is very important so don't forget this now let's move to the second verb that we have today le verbe uh, aller and we will have uh, a quick uh, comparison between the informal language and the formal language we have a dialogue here and a dialogue here. This is informal language, a friendly way. And here it's formal, it's uh, official way of talking. Okay, like the difference between comment ça va et comment allez-vous. Comment ça va, we use it with the friends. And comment allez-vous, we use it with the, uh, uh, the people or the groups that we have to show them that we respect them. Okay. Exemple. Bonjour, comment ça va? Salut, ça va bien, merci. Et toi, comment vas-tu? Je vais bien, merci. Je te présente, Marie, une amie. Salut, Marie. Moi, c'est Julien. Ok? Notice that here, comment ça va? And uh, comment vas-tu? Je te présente. Some keys here, some words. Uh, it shows us. That this dialogue is informal way of uh, talking, or it's informal uh, language between friends. Uh, on the other hand, bonjour, ça va Pierre. It's a, a dialogue between Pierre and his professor Henri. Pierre here has to talk to his teacher in uh, a respective way. That's why he cannot. Uh, uh, start his talking by comment ça va uh, c'est faux if you want to say hi to, you, to your teacher you say comment allez-vous comment ça va with the friends bonjour ça va Pierre bonjour professeur Henri ça va bien et vous comment allez-vous je vais très bien merci je vous présente ma mère Pierre is telling his teacher introducing his mother to his teacher Je vous présente ma mère. Enchantée, madame. Enchantée, madame. Le verbe aller. Singular form. Je vais. 
tu vas, il va, elle va, nous allons, vous allez, ils vont, elles vont. Ok? Third verb, today, le verbe avoir, à quoi prévision? J'ai, tu as, il a, elle a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, elles ont. Ok? Le verbe faire, last verb today, we're going to have uh, many slides on this uh, verb, because it's a very important verb. Uh, singular form, je fais, tu fais, il, elle fait, nous faisons, vous faites, il, elle font. Le verbe faire, verb to do, we use it uh, for, if you want to ask about what does someone uh, do, or uh, what does he do in life. Je joue au, and then write The, the, the sport that you're practicing right now or je fais du de la de l'apostrophe if you're practicing uh, uh, or you're having a training on this kind of sports so the difference between je joue au football et je fais du football it's uh, uh, the meaning of uh, how many times do you practice when I'm saying je joue au football it means I'm playing right now or I'm playing every now and then. But je fais du football, it means that I'm fond of it. I like it. I have a training. I have a trainer. So, je fais, le verbe faire ici, plus sport, uh, ou bien plus activité. We have to use uh, uh, la préposition de, but uh, with the, le verbe jouer, don't use de, it has to be a. Okay? Jouer à sport, faire de sport ou activité. These examples will show us the difference when I'm saying je joue au football, je joue au football, it can be je fais du football. Okay, watch out. When you change the verb, you will change the preposition. Je joue au football, je joue au football, je fais du football. Je fais du ski. Je fais du ski. Je fais de la pêche. Je fais de la pêche. Je fais de la danse. Je fais de la danse. Le verbe faire ici, it means to do shopping. Like, oui, je fais les courses. Je joue au football. Je joue au golf. Je joue au basket. Je joue au tennis. Ok? So, Here are some activities. If you want to say, I'm doing shopping, you will say, Je fais les courses. Okay? Je regarde la télévision. Je regarde la télévision. So, all these examples, it's about activities we used to do. We use the verb jouer, à, plus the kind of sports that we practice, and the verb faire, plus the kind of sports that we used to practice or the activity that we like to do. Je fais de la danse. I do dance. Je fais du cyclisme. Je fais du ski. Je fais de l'équitation. Je fais de l'équitation. Horse riding. Je fais de la pêche. Je fais de la pêche. Je fais une promenade. Je fais une promenade. Je fais les courses. Je fais les courses. Je regarde la télévision. Je regarde la télévision. Ok? C'est fini. On a révisé les quatre verbes. Le verbe être, avoir, faire et le verbe euh, être, avoir, faire et le verbe aller. These are very important verbs. Don't forget to review them and to watch this video again. Ok, merci, à la prochaine.